welcome back to Is Your Six Cover, talking about a few items about concealed carry. The things you never hear, at least when I'm watching videos from all the awesome YouTubers out there, talking about concealed carry items, is things that happen. Here's what happens, let me tell you. After carrying a firearm for a few years, you're going to start noticing your clothing starting to deteriorate in certain sections. And I'll go over it and I'll show you some pictures. But this is me, basically 3 o'clock to 4 o'clock is where I carry it. And you'll start noticing small holes. And I don't expect you to see the holes right now. I'll zoom in here in a minute. But you just come across stuff. You're messing. You're at home. You bump up against the, you bump up against the um, counters or whatever the case is. And that hard, you know, that hard counter touches your shirt, which in turn touches the, uh, the hard part of your weapon. So it starts to cut that threading, and it turns those little tiny... Um, you know, fabric cuts into tiny little holes, which in turn turn into bigger holes as, as the process of the washing machine goes, you know, and you wear it more often. So here's a picture of some of the stuff. So this is just a quick video on things to look for on your shirts. So if you're a, if you're a concealed carry person or a person that's thinking about, you know, carrying a concealed weapon, this is some of the items that are, you're going to haunt you, you know, so... Me personally, I wear a t-shirt about 90% of the time. And I'll just give you an idea. This is the right side of the shirt, right where the firearm goes. And it, um, you'll see all the tiny little holes. So here's all the different holes. Okay, so that's one shirt. Here's another shirt. This is the right side. This one was one of my favorite shirts. And now it's to the point where I don't even think I can wear it anymore. So look at all the holes. And that's just from, you know, tiny. They start off tiny like this, and then they end up like this as the uh, washes go through. But it looks like some moth had a party in your closet. You know, here's another color. Here's another shirt. See, this is the right side. And right about where your firearm will be located is tiny little, tiny little holes. You know, sometimes... It's, I don't know, it just happens. So these are the, here's another shirt. Let's see, find the right side. And that one, look at those ones. I mean, I don't, I could have caught that on something. But um, here's another one, two more there. So you're going to get to the point where you're not going to be able to wear your t-shirts anymore because you're basically going to be showing uh, your firearm off. But here's the last shirt. And then you can turn them into painting shirts. You know, I mean, I'm pretty sure you've seen enough holes in my shirts now. But this is, this is now a painting shirt. So things to think about is wear and tear on your, you know, your gear. And your gear can also be whatever you're going to wear. I wear an, a size bigger on my t-shirts just so that I have a little more additional room that I can help conceal my uh, firearm. So there's a quick tip for you. If you're going to be a concealed carrier or you already are, um, clothing, you're going to be utilizing or using your clothing a lot, unless you're going to do an option that I do in the winter time, and that's an undershirt. It helps keep you warmer in the winter, but it also helps protect uh, one of your shirts. So it dampens the dampens and slows down the process of cutting your shirts so, you know, up. So have a great day, and if you guys are one of those uh, ankle holster or appendix kind of carry, and you guys have a you know, if you're having issues or maybe you're not having issues, you know, uh, comment and give me a heads up. Because I don't know if you bump into stuff more here or here. So if you carry in both places, you know, tell me if you're noticing it in the front and on the sides or down at the ankle as well. So, again, is your six covered. Have a great day. Like, share, and subscribe. Bye.